And we are back with our first conversation for this morning. Kicking things off for September 1st and all things September celebration, Civic Pride, Belizean, Belizeaness, mm -hmm. all the hashtags. Um, <laughs> we have joining us in studio the Senior Research and Education Officer at ISCR Niche, uh, Mr. Rolando Pacom. Good morning. Good we morning. have the Marketing Communication Associate of ETB, Ms. Felicia Palayo. Good morning. Good morning. And we have joining us the author of the National Symbols of Belize, a coloring book, Mr. Ellington Cayetano. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack in this short 20-minute se segment. So I want to first start by saying it's Flag Day, yeah. September 1st. And we have with us Mr. Rolando, who will talk to us about what that means. So good morning. Good morning. Thank you, April and Paul, for making me open my eyes very early this morning. Definitely, that's how we do <laughs> it. It's kind of our thing, right? <laughs> Today is National Flag Day. Yeah. So in most municipalities, uh, the flag was raised at 6 a.m. with a mm -hmm. ceremony. Um, sure. The BDF, I know, do a wonderful um, protocol of raising the flag in Belmopan. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. one that I've witnessed the most. Okay. And it's a very um, interesting mm -hmm. and also sort of like a inspiring observation to make. Mm -hmm. So I encourage people to to do so next year because you've missed it already. It was at 6 a.m. <laughs> it's at 6, right? Yeah. 6 a.m. It's before our morning show was sort of not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> and so Flag Day is, is about civic pride. And that ties in wonderfully with what we're doing here today, with the work that BTB is doing, with the work that uh, Mr. Cayetano has produced and we are so fortunate to support. And I'm sure there are many other Belizeans out there who are doing entrepreneurial activities around civic pride. Mm -hmm. I know there's helping hands in Belmopan and, and she's creating this, this gift bag that people can purchase um, and has a bunch of information on the national flag, on the, on the national prayer and, you know, and it's a fundraiser for her, for her institution there in Belmopan and I'm sure like her and like Mr. Kaitan, there are many other persons out there who are doing their part in building nationalism and fostering unity um, in our country which is um, will always be necessary you know, for us to, to remain uh, a proud people. What is it about our flag? And I, I guess just the idea or the concept of Flag Day that instills or should instill that level of civic pride as Belizeans. Mm -hmm. Right. So there are many symbols of a nation. And mm -hmm. uh, in today's world, the flag is one of those most important symbols. It readily identifies um, a geographic space, but also a, a people. And for us in Belize, uh, we know that we've had issues with <laughs> consistency over what is the standard of the Belize flag. Um, particularly the, the yellow man on the flag has been a <laughs> eyesore for many of us. Uh, and over the past few years, Niche, along with other ministers, have been collaborating to standardize the Belize flag. And you will remember that in 2019, we presented a version mm -hmm. of this standardized uh, flag, which had the support of, um, of government and the opposition mm -hmm. at the time for us to proceed with this work. And now we are at the stage where we are looking at the legal instruments that could help to enforce this new standard that has been finalized. Mm -hmm. So for instance, um, persons who are printing or distributing the Belize flag may likely, uh, the legislation may speak to the fact that they may require a permit from an institution like Niche mm. so as to ensure that they are producing or distributing correct the correct flag, you know, mm. um, with, the, with the proper standards, um, especially when it comes to, the, to, to the, the colors of the coat of arms, which is a bit more intricate than other flags of, of the world. Yeah. Um, and so that's what we've been working on, and there are some more educational materials to come by. So is that the correct um, coat of arms? That is the correct coat of arms. So All right. on it, we have the, the scorn of the earth. There's 50 leaves around. Mm -hmm. um, 50 mahogany leaves? Not mahogany Ooh. leaves. Yes. So. They teach me body and social studies. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, but I feel like you'll notice that you're set me up for learning. <laughs> <laughs> so it's called the, the, the scourd of the earth. It's you, it's this um, vine, vine that usually grows on top of other trees. Yeah. Oh. Um, so I didn't I, know I, that, you know. I need to find out the scientific name no, the next oh. time I'm back. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and it also has there the mahogany tree um, at, at the center. Um, oh, providing this shade to the Afro-Belizean and Mestizo-Belizean men who are with tools from the logging uh, industry, mm -hmm. which was at the, the, 
the start of the, the British settlement in this, in this territory that is now Belize. Um, there's also a sailboat and the sub umbra floreo, which means under, under the, the shade, shade I, you see. Flourish. I flourish. Yeah. All right. And, and you can see their hair is well groomed as well. <laughs> uh, I, we, we have perhaps one of the more intricate flags uh, from across the world. Um, when you think of other nations that have uh, three solid colors yeah. or four solid colors crossing, just crossing paths, etc. What was the idea? How did we uh, come to have such an intricate design okay. for, for our flag? Right. So we, we can call it intricate and unique, but the other world may look at it and say, why are you not following the standard? Why you have so <laughs> many things on the flag? Yeah. Right, right. Because it should be much more, uh, the standard is for very plain elements. Simple. So it can be more easily reproduced and identified. Right. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, we are fortunate now. I think we are one of, of, of two with, with, with human people. depictions yeah. On, yeah. on our national flag. Um, and this coat of arms um, comes from a seal. Um, what do we mean by seal? What do we call a stamp today? Yeah. Mm. Um, from the early 1800s um, mm. in, here in British Honduras at the time. Um, now Belize and uh, when the independence movement started um, they referred to uh, the original BMN flag which was to, uh, they claim sky blue with a white um, circle sure. in it on it sorry and then this became um, the symbol uh, for the People's United Party and their their championing of the uh, independence movement mm -hmm. um, later on by the as we approach independence and deciding upon the the flag there's a competition that's held um, and that sees the integration of the the, the red border mm -hmm. on the top and the bottom of the flag and the coat of arms um, they due to research they found the the seal and the coat of arms was already being used in some um, official colonial documents okay. um, it was originally two afro um, belizean men on it and um, when we submitted our flag and other symbols uh, as part of the decolonization process, this is what um, the, the government um, submitted. And this description is now available um, at most monuments. I believe all municipalities have a flag monument mm -hmm. that was unveiled back in 2019, um, which has a description of the, the coat of arms in detail. And um, we encourage people to to, to have an, uh, a read at it, you know, mm -hmm. go out and find out more about it. Um, and luckily, too, uh, Mr. Caetano included the description mm -hmm. as sort of like an appendix <coughs> in the coloring book. And so that, that's at the end of the book whereby people can find out more information. So it's, it's a coloring book, but it also has some resource there for the parents and teachers. All and, right. and so we, we're happy to have him well, do this type of work. I mean, we all know that the flag is one of our dearly beloved national symbols. And you, w the reason that we asked so much about the flag was because I know that when I'm going to go to school, they say you color it a certain way, you color the man a certain way, you know. And it kind of would always stir up these questions, these questions right. as to why and why we choose their two man. And, you yeah. know, so it, it, it is important for us to know as, as yeah, Belizeans, right. you know. But... Um, Felicia, let's get into the coloring book along with you and Mr. Um, Cayetano. Let's talk about the inspiration and the entire coloring book itself with the other national symbols of Belize. So tell us okay. about our symbols. Well, I, I could get in a bit more about what VTB role in mm -hmm. all of this is. Um, the last time that I was here with you, April, we were talking about the Civic, Civic Pride, Pride campaign movement. that yeah. was launched. And for us, the campaign ties directly into the information that Rolando is sharing as mm -hmm. well as the publication. Mm -hmm. The campaign focuses on um, creating values or pushing for values like having respect for the flag for the anthem, mm -hmm. um, appreciating our resources that we have as a country. And one of the ways, apart from what we're doing at BTB, um, which is putting out videos, putting out billboards across the country with this message, mm -hmm. is to support initiatives like these. Mm. So. Over the past year, BTB has provided support to 
three publications, um, including Mr. Cayetano's, and they've all been by Belizean authors mm -hmm. who have been putting out publications about Belize, specifically targeted at younger children or primary school level children. Um, so Mr. Cayetano's one focuses on the national symbols, which is also a part of our campaign and helps our campaign by providing that educational material, providing the interactive activities for younger children to learn about our flag, the national flower, the national mm -hmm. animals, the national tree. Mm -hmm. So something like this is definitely something that really falls within the scope of work that we're doing with the campaign. So Mr. Cayetano, why a coloring book? Well, um, when I visit these bookstores in Belize, mm -hmm. countrywide, I noticed that when you watch the shelves, the bookshelves, mm -hmm. you hardly see any Belizean yeah. books, especially for children. Yeah. And I decided, well, you know, we must can do something for these kids. Yeah. At one bookstore, I saw one, mm -hmm. and I double checked, and it's only one. Huh? I said, man, it, it's so sad. Yeah. You know, all these foreign books on the bookshelf and whatnot. I said, man. I gotta do something about this. Okay. So then, why start with the national symbols? What, what, I mean, they're beautiful. I, I love that that they're big enough that you could color. And if you have somebody like me, I can't stay in between the lines. Um, they're big <laughs> enough that you could, you know, get into it and color uh, freely. But there's also fun facts on it as well. So it's not just that you have the coloring, the coloring page itself here, but you also have like there's a national, national anthem. anthem. The national, no, prayer, national prayer, some facts, some facts about, about Belize. Belize. Um, I really, I really appreciate this kind of um, simplicity in the in the coloring book itself, because when kids want to learn about their history, they're not really when go pick up a sixty page book, right? This mm. is this is enough for them to mm. to look at and, and get some facts. So, um, I want to get into the symbols itself and the importance. So here we have the bag which Rolando explained vividly but then why did we pick a tapir or a toucan or the, the black orchid what, what do these mean for us right um, well these are all endangered um, species as, as, as you as you know um, and so we need to protect them and they're and it's all about bringing uniqueness um, to the country because each country has um, these symbols and so I think um, they are wonderful symbols that we, what we need to, to uh, pay respect to mm -hmm. and to protect. Mm -hmm. And I think that ties into mm -hmm. what Felicia is saying in terms of um, being Belizean and being patriotic. Um, yes, it's about uh, standing at attention for the playing of the national anthem. It is um, ensuring that you, when you raise a Belize flag, that it's not torn. But it's mm -hmm. also about not littering. It's about um, protecting the environment, protecting our uh, flora and fauna um, that we are blessed with. Mm -hmm. And I think that that is the purpose of these type of symbols um, that we as a nation have uh, agreed to, uh, to cherish. Um, but it's also, I think, um, instructive for us to realize that it's also about the respect that we can give to each other, the difference of opinions, to celebrate our cultural groups, um, our different histories um, coming out of uh, colonialism and so there, there's much work that remains in sort of building bridges and building understanding. Um, but we must do that work. And I think doing publications is just one way of, of doing that yeah. work. You know, the artists have their, have their role to play. Um, the media has their role to play. And we're grateful for opportunities like these to be able to, to partner um, in, in building um, unity. And so I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that we, we can participate in this work together. So Mr. Caetano, what's the vision? When you want, when, when a child picks up the book and begins to color the tapir and begins to color the flag and uh, the coat of arms and begins to color the mahogany tree, what is it that you want them to experience and live with? Well, first of all, the book is a child-friendly book. Mm -hmm. It went through the military education and they present this this book the way it should be child friendly. Mm -hmm. So as you notice, the the all the front 
and the color and not the color the drawing have to be big enough to the, so that the child can draw can do it can right do it. Mm -hmm. and then most of the um drawing I did by myself. I always trace so illustration. So you, you, yeah. you, you yeah. hand draw. Yeah, yeah. hand draw. Yeah. All illustration, everything. Nice. I don't hand draw. Yeah. And um, when a child pick up this book, you always think that they are home. They are in a country. Belize. Yeah. yeah. So when you start color, with the guidance of your parents, now, mm -hmm. you will say, well, hey, I'm in Belize. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so you draw and the national prayer is very important. The anthem is very important. Mm -hmm. So when your kid when the kids learn those the prayer and the anthem, they'll really know that they are in Belize. Yeah. yeah. And they should love the prayer and the anthem. Yeah, I yeah. think I think it teaches civic pride from civic such a young exactly. age. Mm -hmm. Uh from the moment you're able to color uh, and understand colors. First of all, you're with the flag you're able to understand what color goes where as a child so so that's a big deal from the start um and then you'll be able to say you know what this is me this belongs to me this is my identity this is who i am because and it's not as you cover as you turn the first page yeah. mm -hmm. the first page is a, it's mark what symbolizes me the next page yeah more, more to the front more to the front, more to the front. right yeah Ah, right. I see, Mark. National a symbol which represent me. Yeah. Oh. Right here right in, the, right in the little. So, so what's that part for? Well, this book will, will be your property. Uh huh. And probably your ethnic group or whatever you can put here. Okay. So, so like, so you you choose. What you makes choose. you Belizean? What, yeah, what makes you Belizean? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What would you put in that? Well, this I have said, well, I'm a I'm a Gareth now. Yeah. And I love my culture. So what would you put? Drum. Uh, I put drum. 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 Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. What did so you put I, in hmm. That's a difficult question. We don't have enough time. <laughs> 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 no. Um, so uh, Rolando and, and Felicia talked to us as we're, we're quickly wrapping up. What are the plans for September when it comes to Civic Pride? What is ISCR doing? What is BTB doing? Yeah, thanks. Um, so today is the... Um, the Belize at 41 prize that's mm -hmm. taking place at the House of Culture here in Belize City. And this is a prize for cultural and creative excellence. Mm -hmm. And so um, stay tuned for that. It will be broadcasted yes. live on the National Celebrations Commission page for everyone to see. I don't want to say the winners yet, so I'll, I'll, I'll just okay. I'll, but it's an I'll award keep ceremony. tight until, yeah. until that happens. But it's more than an award ceremony happening. We are also unveiling the full September celebrations calendar officially later this afternoon. Nice. And so people will have access to that online and also in, in print form. And so we're excited about that and the, launch, the unveiling of the national um, September video and that's a series that started last year. And so exciting um, activities happening today, but also throughout this month. Mm -hmm. And, and we look forward to be able to discuss these more as, as they come up you and to be back on the you show. And I know that BTB is <laughs> partnering with so much uh, events uh, celebrating our country. But first, I just want to say that the Tukan, yeah. the uh -huh. same Tukan, is part of the BTB logo. Yes, so that, that would that. be my favorite symbol. <laughs> um, and that has become such an identifier for the country. When you yes. come to Tukan, you have to go to the, do, the, the zoo and see them. Yeah. It is such an identifier for our country, yeah, along with the rest of the other symbols. Um, for September, BTB is um, a supporter of the September Celebrations Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, we sit on the National Celebrations Commission along with, um, with Niche. Um, so we will be out there this afternoon as well. Um, we have another Civic Pride video that we will be releasing this oh. month, and that one will speak to some of the the wildlife. It's a pair you're going to see in there. You're going to see the orchid in there. It's going to have that messaging that we should have appreciation and be stewards for our resources. Um, we're also going to be working to get the lyrics for the national anthem, information about the flag, the national prayer into schools. So I think we'll be back here to discuss that one when that's ready. And everyone already. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Rolando, Felicia, Sakaitano, thank you so much for dropping by. April, I ah. have one final question for Mr. Kaitano. The most important, where can we get the books? Yes. In the book, 
will be available at bookstore, certain bookstore. Mm -hmm. But for right now, yeah. it will be available only for me. For right okay. Now. So, <laughs> how can people reach my you? Number, you have a Facebook account? No, not as yet. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but my number is 665 mm -hmm. 3387. 665 yeah, Get your copy yeah. of the National yeah. Symbols of Belize a Coloring. And I would also like to thank Nietzsche. Yeah. Mr. Valano Coco. Because he worked with me tirelessly with this book. <laughs> I mean, we start out in what, 2015? Wow. And it's going to 2019. So, which are they he draw? Well, um, he, put in, he, he write the script. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I also I want to thank to um, BTV. Yeah. Because they give us give me a grant, no? Mm -hmm. So I can do some more publication. So special thanks to Niche and BTV. Perfect. And I have two special friends who assist me with typing and other stuff. Special thanks go to Mr. Um, Zita Lizama Moscham. Mm -hmm. And special thanks to Mr. Dana Williams, as I said at the first show, Dana Williams was the first person who offered me a flash drive. First wow. donation. Wow. So Mr. Kai, that was tour. Your work. Your book, your work. work on a flash yeah. drive, you know. You got flash drive? I said no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flash drive for you. Wow. So the first contribution was from Dana Williams with a flash drive. Wow. wow. And I can't mention again Dita Mozama, Moscham. She helped me out a lot. She carried my work to her house and she some of the corrections and whatnot so special thanks to those ladies congratulations congratulations sir. on your book and thank thanks. you and we hope that you purchase because it's really really pretty i want one just for me well though. we have one at no. <laughs> <laughs> but um thank you all for stopping thank by and we look thank forward you. to seeing the calendar of events we look forward to the btb civic pride video and of course look forward to seeing more of your books in the store yes, thanks very much and with that we're going to take our next break and we'll be back with our second conversation we're live on five <laughs>